Hey everyone, welcome back. It's a beautiful Sunday, and today is the calm before the storm. Two storms, in fact, because we've got two hurricanes that are going to be coming down on us here in Houston tomorrow through Thursday, from the looks of it. So, in the military, we were always ready for something next. Um, we would always have a go bag, you got stuff that is pre-packed and ready to go and we call it like a 24-hour response bag and mind you guys when I was in the military it was during the kickoff of the war so we were always on um, uh, 24-hour notice or you know one-hour notice you know we had to run up to the hospital and go take care of patients and stuff when they'd be busting but anyway um, we were I've always been ready I, I really have like over here I've got you know a whole bunch of uh, supplies and stuff over over on wall cabinets and they're up off the ground I've got my family well prepared we've got plenty of cases of water and food why do we do it well you know it's when you're a biomed you will probably be on a response team and you're either going to be the ones that ride out the storm whether it be a winter storm a tropical storm hurricane flood tornado whatever um, biomeds are going to be a part of a response team and that means that you're gonna probably have to leave your family behind and you have to make sure that they have enough provisions to take care of themselves in your absence so this is kind of counterintuitive to a modern-day America thinking whereas a lot of people never keep extra water they almost never keep extra food almost everything is refrigerable in a modern-day home None of that pertains to being a, a, a good biomed with a plan. With a plan, you guys have to be ready. I, in my Jeep, I've got provisions, which means I have extra water. I've got uh, Gatorades and several other things that we won't talk about on this channel. But anyway, uh, I do have provisions. I have 100 mile power um, water and rain gear, and I've got extra socks in my, in my get home bag. I've got all sorts of stuff that I need to stay up and ready. And today, I'm gonna pull my bag out and I'm gonna go through it again uh, because I haven't gone through it in probably three or four months since, I don't know, maybe five or six months. It was right at the beginning of this whole pandemic. That's when I pulled it out and I inventoried it. I went through it. I've got my med kit in there. I've got sunblock. I've got things like um, mosquito spray, bug spray. Um, so anyway, all that is in my, my uh, get home bag. But when it's situations like this, when we have a hurricane that's coming in, I have to convert it over to a 24 or 48 hour bag, which means I do have my, my uh, water and stuff like that, but I also keep like toothbrush in there, uh, spare deodorant, uh, changes of clothes. That's something that you gotta have prepped and ready to go. I have I don't know, two or three days worth of changes of clothes. And it, mind you, you can pack all that in a tiny, tiny little spot in your bag. It doesn't have to be a giant bag. It, I think mine's a like 20 pound bag. It's, you know, I can slap it on my back. It stores easily in my Jeep. So I, I'm just making this video to guy, make you guys very well aware that this stuff does happen. And a lot of people don't think about that when they come into this career field that you're often gonna be on a response team which means you have to start changing your mentality about situations. It's not necessarily about survival. Sometimes it's about making life bearable when everybody else's life is falling apart. And in saying that, uh, right over here, I also have an air mattress. It's gonna get loaded up in the Jeep. It's going with me and it's gonna be in the Jeep. Um, I have extra sleeping bags. That's probably gonna go in the Jeep too. Even if I never use it, it's gonna be in the Jeep because I've been there when that hurricane rolls through and there's no place to sleep. All the beds, all the good spots are taken, so you got to find a uh, closet someplace to go and sleep. I've done it. I've definitely done it. I've slept next to air conditioning units in the, um, in the uh, equipment corridor. Um, I've done that before. You know, things happen, man. And uh, just be prepared, guys. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to try and enjoy the rest of the day with my family. They're already ready mentally and physically, 
So now uh, I just have to prepare myself and then by tonight I'll be ready to go. Anything could happen tomorrow, my family's gonna be ready, I'm gonna be ready, and you know, hopefully everybody gets through this all right. If you guys are listening from over in the Louisiana area, uh, looks like you guys are gonna hit, get hit pretty good. Um, everybody else that's over here in uh, Texas, I hope you guys are prepared. Don't be complacent. So I wish you all the best. God bless. And I'll uh, be making more videos for you guys while we are trapped. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. Get your provisions together and get ready. It's going to be an interesting week.